Hi everyone, this is Miriam Smith, DNP. I am welcoming you again to our Empowering You Nurses episode, our show today. We'll be talking about the little ones, and those are the little babies. Now, we want to make sure, we want to ensure that we have a safe sleep environment for our babies because there are many sleep-related sleep um, cases whereby our babies would not survive. We have the SIDS, as they call the SIDS, that sudden infant death syndrome. And that comes under, we have um, sudden unexpected infant deaths. Okay, and so it's important to know that there are these some factors that can contribute, although the cause is unknown. Um, this usually happen between age between babies one month to one year, and most times the death occurs between one to four months. Now we have in America over three thousand four hundred babies. I'm dying yearly from SIDS, from this um, sudden infant death syndrome. And uh, before investigation, after investigation, many of these deaths still unknown. The cause is unknown. However, there might be related factors that actually contribute to this disease, this the death of these children, these babies. And so, <clears throat> While the baby is in the crib, it's important for sleep. There should be no toy in the crib. There should be no buffers on the bed. Teddy bears, toys of any sort should not be with the baby. The baby's room bed should be of, should be a firm mattress and in the crib. That's what it should be. And it might look very simple, but it's for safety. So um, if you should have any of the other stuff in the bed, that could cause suffocation. The pillows, no pillows, that should, should cause suffocation. No teddy bears that baby can be can pull and can fasten between the mattress and the teddy bear. Any mattress, anything that can cause um, any um, entrapment can be, it should, be, should not be in the bed. Again, with um, anything that would cause the baby to be strangulated or so, you know, anything going around the baby's neck. So the bed should be, the crib should actually be really, really simple. Nothing but and the, when the baby's sleeping, should be on his back rather than on his stomach because the baby's not able to move the head if the baby vomits, that can also cause suffocation. Baby wouldn't be able to breathe and not able to move his head. So it's very important to know, although Many of us and older folks used to um, put the baby or uh, knew of it, and maybe we were brought up that way. But um, keep the baby on the on his baby's belly, um, tummy for sleeping. But it's scientifically proven that's not safe. So we should adhere to the rationale, the reason behind all of that. So here it is. Um, Mommies need to be educated. That is, grandma, parents, uncle, relatives, caregivers, everybody should be aware of it. That baby should be sleeping alone on his back or her back for safety and for longevity. So safe sleep environment would be the crib, that's the baby, and a firm mattress in the, in the um in the crib so I want you to remember that the little children siblings need to learn everyone needs to learn because it's factual that prevention is better than cure we will follow up with another episode or so on the safety of the baby the safety of the baby in the crib and we'll talk a little about breast the clues cues baby cues for breastfeeding it's important because moms need to learn all that caregivers need to learn and the general public so this section as they 
young nurse, um, she might be placed in maternal area or she might be placed in other um, areas of the hospital or environment, she needs to be able to educate as she cares for the baby or just inform others and even at home how important it is. You can go and the CDC, everyone should be aware of the important changes that have taken place over the years and the scientific evidences. Thank you. I am Miriam Smith, DNP. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And it's just great to have had you on. You can follow me on Instagram at Podcast Mirror and YouTube, Miriam Amanda Smith on Apple, Spotify, the Empowering New Nurses show. And of course, I'm grateful that you came on today. YouTube, you can subscribe. Thank you, I'm Miriam Smith, your host. Dr. Miriam Smith.